Can we just be honest that when you're all plated up, there's a large amount of security and comfort in knowing that you're wearing a bunch of armor and you have all of your tools accessible right where you need them? Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Welcome back to the Minuteman Gear series. And today we're going to go uh, in a slightly tangential direction here because I've been experimenting recently with getting everything off my webbing and putting it onto my plate carrier for kind of my patrol plate carrier setup. I put that in heavy quotes, right? But my, my thought here is there is this niche, right, where you're going to want to wear armor and you might want to pair it with like your battle belt, right? And it'd be good to have a setup for a kind of a short-term duration mission. You know, again, 8 to 12 hours, kind of in that area, where you're going to want to wear all of your armor because, for whatever reason, you want to do that. I think maybe the best example I could think of historically would be like the Black Hawk Down mission, right, the, in the Battle of Mogadishu, where you're going to go out, you're going to go on this raid, you're going to get dropped off by helicopter, you're going to do some stuff, and you're going to come back. Now you could say, aha, Dylan, but there I got you because that mission went to shit and everything went downhill and so, you know, you should have brought more stuff. Your, your webbing would have been better. Well, uh, you're in an urban environment, so urban to me probably always means armor. And I have enough stuff on here, food, water, whatever, that I could sustain myself for about 8 to 12 hours. So this kind of setup to be able to go do a general purpose raid or attack like that and I'll still be able to sustain myself if things go wrong. So I'm going to put this on the tabletop. Uh, let's go through this. Remember that this plate carrier is designed to be paired with your battle belt, right? And on here, you've seen this before, but I just have my pistol, uh, gloves, dump pouch, two pistol mags for the pistol, obviously, and then two rifle mags, right? And that's it. Back slick. I mean, that's, that's all there is on there. So pairing this with that, I can get all the benefits of my webbing, meaning I have all the sustainment gear. However, of course, we're adding weight, right? And that's the huge major downside. You could probably do, I don't know, depending on your fitness level and whatever, six-ish miles in this. I wouldn't want to start doing double-digit miles in this. Uh, this whole setup probably weighs around 30-ish pounds, give or take. I mean, it's not light. Like, it's once you get it in place, it's not so bad. But getting it on and off can be kind of arduous just because it's, it's heavy. And I don't know about you, but I always start to get, like, cramps up here on my traps when I wear armor for a while. So, anyways, let's put it on the tabletop. Let's go through it, and let's see if this might be an option for some kind of mission set that you would consider. Okay, so let's start at the front and we'll work our way around, right? So up front, I just have three rifle mags. Uh, remember, there are two on the belt right there. Uh, so you're carrying a total of five plus one in the gun. That's kind of my general minimum. If you want to carry more bullets, of course, knock yourself out. Uh, in here is just a set of handcuffs because I had those on here originally and I haven't taken them out. In this big central pocket here, you have a compass. I have dummy corded that compass uh, to this little elastic bungee right here uh, so that, you know, can't drop it, lose it, whatever. But that all just gets kind of stuffed in that main center pouch. Again, for maybe a foot patrol, maybe a vehicle patrol, whatever. But if I'm out on foot, I'm going to want my compass for fairly obvious reasons. There's nothing in this pocket except extra cordage, uh, so I stuffed my radio cord in here, and then my dummy cord, uh, that I have dummy corded with my radio in here, which we'll talk about, I have all stuffed in there. So there's nothing in there right now except just extra cords to keep them out of the way. So those three mags, I have my radio here, because of course you're gonna need that, and then I run it up to a push to talk uh, up here, a little poor man's shoulder mic. I have a little cool paint man key in here. Haven't tried this out yet at all, uh, but, you know, that's kind of the latest rage right there, right, to have the paint key. So I'm, I'm curious to see if that works or not. Uh, up top, I have a notebook because, you know, you need a notebook to write stuff down. I have a write in the rain uh, pen that I have up here. And then also up here, I have a blue permanent marker. Uh, blue, just because that's the color I happen to have, but you need to have a permanent marker in order to mark stuff if you need to do that. Going around the front here, this is my IFAC with the tourniquet. I need to find a place to put a second tourniquet on here. I need one of those cool little uh, flap sleeves that has a Velcro sleeve that I can like put behind the plate or the placard and stuff to be all cool guy. That's what I need, honestly. It solved my problem. But this is my IFAC. Down here, I have some electrical tape, uh, just kind of dummy corded in because you never know when you might need tape. So that's where that goes. Moving around here, here's my night vision in this pouch. 
Uh, that's fairly accessible. It's kind of right on the side of your body, so you can get it. It's a little tricky to get in and out, but you know, you're probably only gonna be accessing that once or twice in a 12 hour period, right? Depending on time of day, if you're either getting your nods out or putting your nods in, you might need a buddy to help you get this in and out. Um, you might have to take your plate carrier off if you don't have a buddy available, but you know, that's, that's mostly accessible. And, and you can kind of figure it out with the plate carrier still staying on to be able to connect it uh, up to your helmet and stuff. This is a GP pouch right now. I just have a canteen of water in here. That's the only thing that's in here. Uh, that of course is just to meet my personal two liters of water minimum requirement. Uh, we'll get to where the rest of the water is later, but I could take that out and put something else in there if I thought that that's what was needed. Coming around to the back here. So first thing, I have a water bladder in here. I have a liter and a half of water that sits in the back that just runs up front. Uh, that's a lot easier, of course, to drink from rather than having to reach back here, right? This water pouch is not accessible, right? So my plan is to drink the water out of the pack and then use this to refill as needed. Again, you'll have to take the plate carrier off to do that, but again, at least you have water, right? Or you could just straight drink this if you couldn't put it in your, your uh, camelback, but hopefully you're running it off your camelback. That's just gonna make your life a lot easier. This is an empty mag pouch. Nothing in here right now. Uh, again, I try to keep empty pouches on my gear for flexibility, right? So if I needed to put another couple mags in there, again, you're gonna need a buddy to help you with those, right? You can't access those, but at least you got them. So that, that's, this is for flexibility purposes. In here, this is a smoke grenade. Uh, again, you're gonna need a buddy to help you get this out of here, right? But um, that's what that is for. I wouldn't probably throw that smoke grenade, right? I'd probably stand next to my buddy while I'm working and he would pull the smoke grenade out and he would be the one to toss it. Again, this is where fighting in teams and having teams is helpful. In the bottom of this little pack here, by the way, this pack is a Spanker Elite, some cheap Chinese knockoff brand on Amazon. It's actually a really good uh, pack, so I would probably recommend it to you in that sense. But uh, that's what the pack is in case you're wondering. Uh, so down here I have a watch cap because, you know, it gets cold, right? So it's always good to carry a watch cap. A baklava, a little neck scarf thing here to keep the wind off you and or whatever. Uh, AAA batteries, because those are important in case your batteries go down. Uh, CR123 batteries, same thing. A small boo-boo kit, right? Cut, scrapes, whatever. Uh, lube. And a lighter. I don't know why I have a lighter in here, but I have a lighter, okay? And that's it, that's in this bottom one. Again, if you're gonna access all this stuff, right, you need a buddy to help you either get it or you're gonna have to take your plate carrier off. So I try to put stuff back here that I don't think I'm gonna need on any kind of consistent basis, right? But just something that I'd like to have along in case I need to get it. In the main portion of this pack that's attached to the plate carrier, right, so there's no extra straps or anything, uh, I have a semi-stripped down MRE. I have a rifle cleaning kit, mostly to punch out casings and stuff like that in case that cool paint can trick doesn't work, uh, but rifle cleaning kit, and then just two uh, light sticks that I've duct taped together. So that's all that's in there, just some extra stuff that I thought would be good to have on hand in case, right? Coming back around here, this is a old IFAC uh, pouch, and all I have in here is my poncho. Uh, this is just my poncho that I have set up uh, kind of as a shelter kit uh, as well. So there's the poncho in here, some paracord. I need to put some tent stakes in there, but that's all that is, is just a poncho that fits almost perfectly in this pouch here so that it carries well, it can come out, no problem. That's what stays in there. In general, I try to maintain this gap so that drawing my pistol is easier. Uh, I haven't put anything here. I probably could because my pistol line of travel kind of comes more this direction rather than straight up through here. But uh, currently that's why there's not a whole lot there. Flashlight, because it's good to have a white light on you. And then a uh, cold steel SRK blade that I've attached here. So that's it, that's my patrol plate carrier setup. And again, I use that with heavy quotes. Uh, the one major downside here, which you've probably seen already, is that it's not scalable. Uh, earlier in the series, we talked about having a gear system and pieces that can interface with other pieces. This kind of sits outside of that system, 
because it's not scalable. Because you have this pack already on here, I mean, you could physically put another pack over it, but that's not really gonna be comfortable. That's not really gonna be an effective way to carry anything. You're certainly not gonna throw that three-day pack over this or anything like that. You know, if you had like a small 24-hour pack or something that you just wanted to, you had to carry something else, you could. Um, but this is not a scalable system. This is pretty much you get what you get, right? Like, you're gonna put the armor on, whatever you can fit on the plate carrier, and, and then slap your battle belt on and that's it, that's all you get. So there's really no scalability to this system, which is why I think it kind of sits outside of the system as more of a you know special mission set uh, that you would say, hey, I want plates, I want all the stuff for my webbing, I'm planning on being gone you know, four hours, but I'm gonna plan for eight to 12 just in case, and this is, this is what I'm taking with me. So if that kind of, tickles your fancy and uh, you kind of like that setup these are some thoughts for you but again this is a way to kind of meld the idea of having armor having sustainability being able to meld it together the major downsides of this kind of system is weight because like i said this thing is not light i mean it, it probably weighs 30 ish pounds i don't know it's heavy okay between the water and the plates and the ammo and everything else it's just not light so you gain weight, which is a downside, and then you lose scalability, again, because you have this pack attached here to carry some of the sustainment stuff that you're gonna wanna have on you, you just, you lose being able to scale this up and down with packs. So, hope that's helpful, hope that gives you some thoughts, uh, and I hope you're able to set up your plate carrier more effectively for whatever it is that you want to do. Do brave deeds and endure.